ran back sea, which is being haunted really by inspections the whole of 2013 and 2014. Over the last 15 months alone, the Indian drug maker has seen nearly 80 inspections by regulatory agencies and this heightened focus has forced ran back sea to pull up its socks. Priya, joining us uh, with details of that. Priya, you know, so ran back sea really had to put in place changes if it needed to meet uh, the FDA, US FDA's guidelines. But run us through what exactly it is that they're doing. Well, inspections by regulators have only been on the rise for pharma companies. Now, an interesting example being that of Rand Baxi that's seen about 80 inspections over the last 15 months. Now, just to give you a breakup of that, there have been 65 inspections uh, in 2013 and about 15 inspections in the first quarter of 2014. Now, remember that these inspections have probably been because of the several import alerts that its plants have been receiving out of India. Remember, it's Mohali, Toansa, Devas and Pawanta Sahab plants have received imports and import alerts in the passed by the US FDA. Now remember that Ranbaxi is working on several measures to uh, resolve these issues. In fact, they've formed a quality and integrity committee at the board level to keep in mind the quality concerns. Also, Daichi Sankyo is providing some sort of technical support uh, to the team so that they can ensure compliance with uh, US FDA norms. Also, the products manufactured at Mohali uh, have been transferred to Ohm Labs in New Jersey, which is the US FDA approved uh, manufacturing site. Also, third party API manufacturers have been worked on. So remember, uh, the cost of compliance, a crystal report has shown, has doubled over the last five years. So keeping this in mind, let's wait and watch how this pans out for pharma companies in the year going forward.